Porsche. Welcome back to the channel. This is the Essential Handyman and I'm Ian. Today we're going to be reviewing this. It's the Minky retractable washing line. Now I've had this about 10 years so this is going to be a pretty in-depth thorough review. Let me show you a few of the features and talk you through my pros and cons of the Minky. Okay so this is a 30 meter washing line. Now that means that there's two spools in there and each one comes out roughly 15 meters each We're slightly over it 16 to 17 meters each but together they form what's known as a 30 meter washing line so you can have two different lines going on it's fixed to the wall um, by means of uh, two pins which keep this attached to the back bracket you can just uh, get the pins out by pushing up at the bottom here which gets this pin out here if you take the right pin out you can get a little bit of swivel action going this way. If you put that pin in, easy to do, just a few seconds. And then push the other pin. You can get the swivel action going the other way. Now I've got this attached to my wall, but for maximum rotation because this does hit the wall this would be ideal to be positioned onto a fence post because then you'd have more than 180 degrees of rotation but for where i want it in my little side yard area this is perfect okay we put these two pins in okay and it stays there fixed firmly on the wall and the beauty about this is that over the winter if you didn't want this to be out in the, the ice and the rain and the snow, just take the whole thing off, move it inside for the winter, when you're not going to be using your um, washing line anyway, are you? And then you can bring it back out in the summer and it's nicer weather. And then the plastic then will last a little bit longer, won't it? So bringing you in close, you can see that the, the method of attaching to the wall is purely by four screws. They provide you with the four screws and the four wall plugs. I've literally just put this into a brick but uh, in hindsight, I'd probably put it into a fence post, as I say, next time, because that would give me more rotation and more ability to uh, spread my lines apart. It's been up there 10 years, a little bit of rusting of the screws, but that, you know, that's good for another 10, 20 years at least. Now, the way this should work, as you'll see these clips, and this is, I don't think this is a minus point for the Minky. This has been out here 10, may even be 15 years. These are only plastic. They're obviously degraded by the, the sun. These were full clips, which you would clip over a hook. Now, the fact that this is broken in 10 or 15 years, I don't think is a, is a bad point on a minky. Because, as you can see what I've done here, we can get around that simply by tying a hook. Now, therefore, if this does break, it doesn't matter. You've got iron filament cable that's as strong as you like. I think it's iron filament. I'm not 100% sure actually, but there's a cable there that is very, very strong. And I've had a hook on it for five to 10 years. And that's how I've been using it. And it's been working perfectly all that time. So if you've only got a little bit of washing to do, you grab one of the lines, you take it to the hook that comes supplied with it, and you just tap it over the hook. Get over the hook. Now obviously, if this wasn't broken off, then that would have just gone over the top. But as I say, we've got the hook section here, folded over. That works perfectly. Now if you've got plenty of washing to do, you can use the second one as well. So as you can see, we've got two washing lines coming off there. One of them goes to the first hook there. Second one goes to the second hook here. Now, I'm only using five or six meters on each run here. But remember, you've got 15 or 16 meters on each of the lines. So you can get quite a lot of your washing dried for such a small little unit. Now, something you need to realise about the Minky is it's not like a seatbelt in a car that's got a pre-tensioner. This is just 
on the line so it will go down as you put washing on it and then your washing will hit the floor so what you need to do is you need to tie it off and that's where these two lugs at the bottom come in you pull this out a little bit and you can it's an art you need to learn that you know how to do it it takes you a minute or so you wrap it around. i tend to wrap it around twice get the right length and then there you are now that will go down a little bit but as you can see it stays there it's not like this one that just keeps going down so that's what you do at the bottom in order to, for your washing line not to slump and your washing to hit the floor you just wrap it around these little lugs at the bottom this is no pretensioner pull it out a little bit wrap it around then you've got tension on here so it's not going to hit the ground now in terms of the development of the unit I'd quite like to see some type of button or slide mechanism or something in order to lock what's going on here. You could have it on a ratchet um, and you could lock it off. It would be quite easy. So when you pull it out, it didn't go any further. But, you know, we're only talking a small amount of money for this. So the technology that goes into it at the moment is limited. I don't know what the new ones are like. Do your research. But you remember, but for 10, 15 year old technology, this is pretty good. Would I recommend it? 100%. This is not my main line. I use my main 20, 30 metre line down the garden. But you know what it's like. Sometimes you're doing uh, lots of washing over a, uh, a weekend and there's lots of um, towels or sheets or something and your main line will get used. That's what's really good about this one. I can have an extra 30 metres of line in which to just get those summer um, spring cleans done. And of course, the other thing to note is that they are fully retractable. So that sums up my review of the Minky retractable washing line. It's a pretty cheap unit. You can see by the fact that this is still going strong 10 to 15 years after I bought it, that it's quite a robust unit. Yes, the, um, the clips are broke, but I would expect that for 15 years or so of use. Would I recommend it 100%? Because to be quite frank with you, even if it broke now, you know, if you're paying 30 quid for it, you're going to get 15 years out of it. It's going to cost you two pound a year. That's worth replacing, isn't it? In, in 15 years for another 30 quid. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope this gave you some information. If you are interested in one of these, I will put an Amazon affiliate link in the description below. As all my Amazon links, if you buy something, I get a little kickback, which helps the channel out and I can carry on buying bits and pieces to uh, test and uh, review and also if you find that one of my Amazon links isn't working leave a comment down below so I know to renew the link so people can carry on getting directed to these great products thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video see ya